Hi, and welcome to this Sauce Labs customer conversation. My name is Abigail Kurtzman, and I'm an Associate Product Marketing Manager with Sauce Labs. My guest today is Charles Sampian Kampanich, a Senior Test Engineer for Lightbox, the world's leading real estate information and technology platform. Lightbox's mission is to modernize the real estate industry by providing a single platform for commercial, geographical, spatial, and environmental building data. Charles will talk about how Sauce Labs has helped Lightbox integrate automated testing into their CICD pipeline and cut their overnight testing times by a factor of four. He'll also talk about why Lightbox is starting to use Sauce Visual in their continuous testing pipeline. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Please introduce yourself, describe the role at Lightbox and kind of what you do on your day to day. Sure, I am a senior test engineer at Lightbox. Currently we're going on an R&D product right now. I handle all the Q&A for that product as well as oversee a little bit of another product, our RCM project for the automation side, um, as well as other QA practices. Sounds like you kind of have a lot of different aspects with QA going on. And can you talk a little bit about what the process is with your automated testing at Lightbox and kind of what kind of testing solutions are you currently using? Typically, we utilize Jira, and then we have an add-on called X-Ray. They'll identify from a high level what test cases are needed, um, as well as exploratory type testing. From there, they'll write it up in X-Ray. If it's an automated test, they'll convert it into our source code, which is in Microsoft Visual Studio. We write in C-sharp. And then from there, we write all our tests in Gherkin. Um, we use SpecFlow in this case, so that allows us to just be more transparent to the business side to showcase like, you know, what we're testing instead of showing our engineer style test cases. So it sounds like you have a lot of different moving parts there with your automated process. What made you decide to choose something like Sauce Labs and how is Sauce Labs currently working within your testing flow? Sauce Labs was selected before I was hired, but I've used it at previous companies. And one of the reasons why it's in my opinion, my other company and this company selected is the need for parallel testing. Some places you've done it locally on your machine, but when you need to do it on a CI CD level, you, you don't want to be running dependent on like local machines. So cloud solutions was always the, the way to go. Yeah, I feel like in the last couple of years, moving to a cloud solution has really kind of been, like you just said, the only way to go as companies grow and get more advanced. Other than just doing kind of the traditional parallel testing, are there any other aspects of Sauce Labs that you're using, like maybe Sauce Labs Visual or anything like that? Oh, yes. We're planning to explore using it further with the, the mobile side. And then we just recently purchased a license to start using the visual tool. One of the things we're having problems is, is just development time of test cases. So to reduce the amount of code that our QA engineers need to write, visual sort of was the solution to that. Because now all we would have to write is just code snippets for just getting to those points where we need to do like, you know, the whole verifications. When you were saying that you guys were kind of looking for a way to expand your coverage and were you guys having any in-house reasons that like, like issues that you were running into that Sauce Labs has now helped you solve? Device coverage and browsers. Yes, it's not like real devices, but it, the emulators come close enough where it's cost saving for us. So we don't have to keep buying new machines of all sorts every other year. Is there anything when you guys started using something like Sauce Labs, were you able to kind of make your teams more efficient? Was there like a cut down on time? What were kind of the more immediate like differences you saw in your test flow once you implemented us? The more VMs we got, we were able to run our re overnight regressions a lot quicker. I think when I started working here, they had 20 VMs. Our regression contained about 1,400 test cases a night we would run. By getting more VMs and optimizing our code with visual, as well as just some other optimization, we went from eight hours to like, we can run 1400 tests in two hours. Okay. Wow. So definitely over half cut down time for that. Yeah. Which is awesome. How was any of the onboarding experience? Are you able to kind of assist other folks who might not have been using it before pretty easily? How is that onboarding process been with your teammates? So the current team size I have is about six, four on one major project, and then myself and another on kind of an R&D one. It was pretty straightforward. It was just teaching them how to code, plus then adding on these other tools of Sauce Labs and integrating it is, was also a little challenging at first, because just because they didn't know automation at all. So I was teaching that plus, okay, here's how we're going to integrate that. But when it came to the newer hires in the last recent year, um, it was a lot easier for onboarding because, again, they knew automation already. So it was like very, here, here's the code. Here's what Sauce Labs is. All you have to do is just drop this little snippet. You're done. We totally see a lot of folks that move from manual to automated when working with us. And 
there's always a little bit of a learning curve, just specifically with the manual to automated testing process. But glad to hear that once you guys got that settled, that Sauce was able to get easily integrated into the team. In terms of using visual testing, was that something you wanted to implement because you guys were finding that there was bugs like passing in your functional tests? And so you wanted to add something onto there. I know you touched on that earlier, but if you don't mind digging in, that'd be great. Partially that, but at the same time, we had a lot of random changes that our tests were too sensitive to. Like sometimes it was just a minor div change. So it'd break our locators or it was just a minor context change and it would just break our test. The constant maintenance of that was kind of a problem. Also just being able to review the results in a more visual fashion, not no pun intended, was a lot of more appealing and easier as opposed to going to our overnight results online and just reading a bunch of text log files. It was all partially because of the test, more for just to reduce development time of our tests and then just allow us to review results in a more timely fashion. Is there anything that you would recommend for any other teams that were kind of experiencing the same issues as you as to like why this was the right decision or anything that you would kind of give as like a piece of advice to someone else at another company who was in your position prior to using Sauce? Keep your test kind of atomic, I would say, and try not to repeat code where possible. All that leads to just make sure your code's maintainable. Maintainable code, that's the name of the game. I want to thank Charles for joining me today and sharing his experience with Sauce Labs. And be sure to visit saucelabs.com to learn more about live, automated, and continuous testing for web and mobile apps on the world's largest cloud-based test platform. Thanks for listening and happy testing. Happy testing.